This is the condo complex where 17-year-old Trayvon Martin was shot and killed on February 26, 2012. He had went to 7-Eleven during the halftime show of the NBA All-Star Game. He went to get some Skittles and some Arizona iced tea, I believe, for his stepbrother. When he came back, he was followed by a, quote, creepy cracker, according to the court testimony of his supposed girlfriend. And um, he was followed by George Zimmerman. And supposedly, when George Zimmerman called 911 to report that someone, quote, a suspicious person and, quote, he shouldn't be here, started following him. When the 911 operator told him to not follow him, he did so anyways. And about a minute and a half later, a 911 call came in from a neighbor who was reporting that somebody was screaming, help me, help me, help me, help me. And right here, his body was found on this grass right here. This is where George Zimmerman shot and killed Trayvon Martin. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's not crazy, but... Later on, George Zimmerman, six months later after he killed Trayvon Martin, he was finally arrested for second-degree murder. And during the trial, all the evidence came out that it looked like Trayvon Martin beat him up pretty good, broke his nose because this guy was following Trayvon Martin. And I guess he just kind of sprang out of nowhere and said, why are you following me? And they started fighting. But uh, George Zimmerman ended up getting acquitted of all charges. So yeah, Trayvon Martin would have been found dead right right about right in this area right here, either right about here or right about there, but it's in this general area right here where he was found dead. Uh, he was basically shot and killed. He was dead probably within about 5 minutes of being shot and he was declared dead at the scene. I don't even think they tried to work on him. But uh, if anybody feels any revenge that they would want to take on George Zimmerman, just know that this guy is the perennial loser of all losers of America. This guy gets kicked out of restaurants. He gets kicked out of apartments. He even gets kicked out of dating sites. This guy, big time loser. He's been arrested at least three times since he killed Trayvon Martin couple of domestic violences against girlfriends that he was dating at the time his wife divorced him right after he was acquitted of the second degree murder charges this guy can't make a dollar nobody wants to hire him he is the patron saint of all losers he should be like the incel leader here's a fun fact the gun that he used to kill trayvon martin he sold at an online auction for over a hundred thousand. Now I don't know if it was a hundred thousand exactly, a little bit more, or if it was two hundred and fifty thousand. A couple of different articles say different numbers. But isn't this amazing? You could see right here, this is a very, very nice complex. This is very nice, it's very quiet. And listen, we all know George Zimmerman was profiling him just because he was black. I mean, straight up, let's just call it the way it is, you know? But anyways, uh, I feel that George Zimmerman should have been given at least 20 years in prison just for the simple fact that when the 911 operator told him to stop following Trayvon, he continued to do so anyways, and he got beat up uh, deservingly so because he, at the end of the day, Zimmerman was nothing more than a wannabe cop. He wanted to be a cop and he couldn't get in. He couldn't get on the force. He couldn't get hired. I believe he couldn't pass the psychological test. That might be a true lie, but I believe I read that somewhere. And now this uh, loser just goes around losing, goes around suing people. He actually had the nerve in 2019 to sue Trayvon Martin's family and their attorney, Ben Crump. I believe he's also the George Floyd attorney. Trying to sue him and them all together for $100 million. I'm not sure if the case got thrown out. Probably did. I didn't research that far. 
And in 2020, he sued Pete Buttigieg and Elizabeth Warren, Warren for $265 million because they referenced him in some tweets, even though they did not call him out by name. They just tweeted about the Trayvon Martin case and his, of course, name is synonymous with the Trayvon Martin case. So he tries to sue them. So all this loser does is just look for people to sue. He can't make any money anywhere. I mean, he's just, who's going to touch this guy? And rightfully so. He's a bum. All he had to have done is just follow Trayvon Martin. And then when he realized he went upstairs to his dad's fiance's house, he'd have been like, oops. But instead, you know, this guy was just looking around, playing wannabe cop. And anybody black, he would basically call the police on. But anyways, guys, uh, that's it. That's the... Uh, that's the uh, place where Trayvon Martin was shot and killed. Well, what do you think about the case? I know some of you guys think that Trayvon Martin uh, was shot and killed deservingly slow. De deservingly so, excuse me. However, uh, the problem is that at the end of the day, no matter how many pictures you Google of Trayvon Martin flipping off the camera, and no matter how many times he got suspended from school for smoking weed or just ditching or whatever, at the end of the day, he didn't do anything wrong. And uh, he was innocent. He was just going to the store literally to get candy, minding his own damn business. And here we are at the Dade Memorial Park Cemetery here in Miami, Florida. We're about three hours south of where Trayvon Martin was shot and killed. And this is his grave right here. Rest, my son. Job well done. He was shot and killed about three weeks after he turned 17 years of age. You know, I was surprised online how many people were condoning this shooting and saying that this kid deserved to get shot and killed because he punched George Zimmerman in the face. I'm glad that he punched George Zimmerman in the face because George Zimmerman is a complete and utter loser and scumbag. He is the patron saint of losers, George Zimmerman. Let's not forget, guys, I don't care what pictures you see online. I don't care how many articles you've read about him getting suspended from school for smoking weed. Okay, this kid was not a criminal, all right? I don't care what you guys, he was where he was supposed to be at the end of the day. Okay, he was at his father's fiance's place. He only went to the store to get some candy. That's all he did. He wasn't breaking into cars. He wasn't lurking into people's windows. He wasn't out raping and pillaging people. He was minding his own damn business. And George Zimmerman, wannabe super cop, killed this kid for absolutely no reason at all. And for you guys to go online and say that this kid was a thug and a criminal. Okay, last time I checked, Trayvon Martin hasn't gotten arrested five times. Last time I checked, Trayvon Martin hasn't gotten arrested for pulling out a shotgun on his girlfriend. Okay. That's the last time I checked. He didn't get arrested for none of that. This is totally an innocent victim in this case. And I was uh, rather shocked to read the comments online that people were making about this kid. It was actually disgusting. Just totally disgusting. And I heard that George Zimmerman is scared everywhere he goes. He still lives in Central Florida. I believe he lives in Lakeland. And I know George Zimmerman, I know you're going to be watching this video. Because you have no job, nobody will hire you. And I'm glad. I'm glad you can't work. I'm glad that you can't make a living. You deserve it. You deserve to be tormented for the rest of your life and harassed in public. Because you're nothing but a loser. And I think that anybody that sees you in public should call you out for the rest of your pathetic little life. I don't think your family should be harassed. Just you. Because you're a scumbag. An absolute scumbag. And anybody that defends that Zimmerman clown, you should be totally ashamed of yourself. Seriously. Because you're defending a murderer, in my opinion. I don't care if you got your nose broken. He, he, you deserved for Trayvon to have bashed your nose right into the back of your stupid fat head. When the police tell you to stay in your car and let them come and do with their job, 
You should have left it alone, but you took it upon yourself to go out there and harass this kid. And the only reason why your coward, pathetic self went out there is because you had a gun on you. You're a pathetic little coward. You're a little mad. I bet you have absolutely no hands on you. If you didn't have that gun, you'd have kept your, you'd have kept your little scary self in the car. Like the, the coward that you are. Like the coward that you are. That, that wasn't self-defense, folks. That was a killing. And some even would say possibly a murder. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, don't for don't forget this dude wasn't out doing anything. I don't care if you got suspended from school because he smoked weed or he had a little bit of weed in the bag or residue or whatever you want to call it. I don't care about all that. What I care about is that this kid had a life and he had a future. Whatever that future was going to turn out to be, that was the future. And that scumbag improves all the time how much of a scumbag he is and has the audacity to sue this kid's family. Has the nerve, <laughs> kills this kid and then sues his family later. Yeah. And of course, let's not forget, he sold the gun that he used to kill this kid. He sold it, trying to make a dollar off of his little pathetic fame. And you scumbags that support this dude, buy his paintings, buy, bought his gun. You all should be ashamed of yourself. That guy deserves to be ostracized out of the world. And let me say this. I'm, I don't condone any violence towards that man. Straight up. Coward. Rest in peace to this kid. I don't care. I don't care what any of you guys say. Out there, at the end of the day, he did absolutely nothing wrong. Miss me with the BS. Miss me with the BS.